Yes, sir. Hi, Larry. Hi, what's your name? Dave. What? Dave. I, I met I you outside you earlier. <laughs> That's right. Um, so my question is, I have uh, friends that have kids, right? Mm -hmm. I'll show them cartoons from the 80s. Yeah. And there's like a big difference between the cartoons from that era as opposed to what's come out mm -hmm. after the millennium, let's say, right? Yeah. So my question to you is, you being involved in, in the industry, um, what do you think the difference is? Because obviously uh, there was messages, mm -hmm. have you in uh, He-Man, Thundercats, G.I. Joe, you name it, right? Yeah. What's the difference? Like, why has that been lost? Well, you and I discussed this outside. Yeah. Uh, um, and as I said then, um, well, concerning the messages, yeah, I, I, I think you're talking about, uh, for example, Thundercats, our message was, it was the Code of Thunder. Yeah. Truth, honor, justice, loyalty. Did I get them all in there? Uh, and uh, our show and several others um, did try to teach the right things. And I will tell you why that came about. Thundercats was actually, Rankin Bass developed Thundercats with, one, with keeping in mind one thing. I don't know if you folks know this, but back around that time, the early 80s, a group got started here, started there in America, <laughs> um, called the, the Committee for Children's Television or something like that. There were a group of people who were upset that the commercials, uh, the, the cartoon shows at that time, right before ours, had too much violence in them, uh, didn't send good messages to kids, and uh, too heavily promoted. Some of them were only made to sell the toys, you know. That has come back around to today. The reason the new Thundercats got canceled is not because the TV ratings were low. They weren't selling enough action figures. That's, what, that's why they canceled it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the word I got from my friends at Warner Brothers. Yeah, so, um, the, but the differences between, of course, animation has changed. Well, it's, it's not animated anymore, really. It's, it's computer, computer animated. Uh, when we were doing our shows, uh, every, uh, everything was drawn by hand, just like, in the, you know, the Walt Disney things of that, of that time. We had what we called animation cells. I'm sure you folks know about that. Wish I'd saved some of those now. Uh, <clears throat> but so, so of course the animation has changed, uh, not only the technology of it, but the look of it now. You know, the anime is a different look. Um, uh, as you were saying, Dave, uh, I, I, I agree with you that I don't think too many, I don't watch a lot of animated shows now, but I don't think, uh, the ones I've seen at least do not have, don't, do not seem to be attempting to maintain those or to impart those values to the viewers. Uh, the new Thundercats did, they, they did that. Uh, so that's a, that's a change. Uh, the technology, of, of course, has changed. But then the world has changed, you know. Uh, we, we've all changed. And I think that's one of the reasons why when, when we watch those, uh, the shows from the 80s, let's say, or for, for me, when I watch the old cartoons that I grew up with, with from, on the, and, and, and cartoon series, when I watch um, um, Yogi Bear, you know, and, and Boo Boo, uh, when I watch Looney Tunes, those things, I get the feeling, the nostalgic feeling from my childhood that you folks get when you watch Thundercats or when you watch, I think it's a human nature. I think anything that, that uh, was a part of your childhood, part of your growing up, different parts of your, your adolescence or your teen years or whatever, that'll always have, unless you had a horrible, horrible, Childhood, you know, and I don't mean that as a joke because some people do. Um, but um, I think it's, it's part of our psyche that uh, those things are, are going to be f bringing back, make, bring, give, bring you warm feelings when you see them. And if, if it's something that was quality, I mean, there are a lot of things we w used to love as kids that we now look back and say, what was I thinking? Like your haircuts when you're in your high school yearbook, you know. Wait until 20 years from now and you go, oh, God. Did I look like that? You know, but everybody looked like that then. So I'm rambling again. Does that answer your question? OK, Dave. I, I, I tend to ramble, but that's what I do. I talk for a living. You know, My business card says, we'll talk for food. Larry Kenny, vocal prostitute. <laughs>